this video focuses on checking your answer with the nsolve command. So we need a problem. So we have 2 times the quantity 2x minus 3 equals 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1. We distribute the 2 and 3 through and then we're going to subtract uh, 4x from both sides and then we'll add 3 to both sides and then we are going to divide both sides by 2 and we end up with x equals a negative 3 halves. So there's our solution. But we always check our answer so let's check our answer by hand. We take the original and then we're going to put in our solution into the equation for x. So we put in negative 3 halves where the x's are. Then we're going to multiply by 2. Then we'll collect the numbers inside and we'll have 2 times negative 6 equals 3 times negative 4. And we'll distribute and multiply there and end up with negative 12 equals negative 12. And again, we're looking to see those two numbers be the same. If they're not, you've made a mistake either in your checking or on your problem. So now let's do it by Inspire. So we're going to select uh, Menu, Algebra, and number one, Numerical Solve. And there's a format that you need to follow. You, first you have to put in the equation. And so I'm going to put in 2 times the quantity 2x minus 3 equals 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1. Again, the equal sign is under the control button. And you have to tell the calculator what variable you're using. So when you get all the way through entering your equation, you need to put a comma. And then in this case, we're using x. So we're going to put in a comma x. That's important. Otherwise, it'll just give you an error message. So here's comma x hit enter and we get our negative 1.5 which is negative 3 halves. Now if your answers don't match then you know you've made a mistake in either typing it in or when you solved. On the TI Inspire CX if we have a all real number solution you'll see the answer true. If the calculator's answer is false, then that means you're in the case where you have no solution. If you have any further questions, feel free to watch the video again or talk to your teacher.